Okay, see, so this video is on um, um, ignorance um, and also negative energies and miracles. And um, just <clears throat> make sure my microphone is set up properly. Okay, so I'm a student of uh, Dr. Hawkins, and please just uh, take what, what you want and leave the rest. But um, I had a near-death spiritual experience, and then I had a miracle when someone gave me a DVD of Kundalini experience. So I knew Hawkins would be my teacher. I flew out to meet him, had other amazing spiritual experiences, and had like so many miracles as a result of meeting him and um, following his suggestions. Three addictions in remission, my health restored, many illnesses restored, and a clear pathway. Um, now, for me, the thing that um, I feel called to share on a regular basis is something that um, I think is not fully under, not humanity is not fully aware of, and there are reasons humanity is not fully aware of it. I mean, Jesus Christ said, forgive them because they know not what they're doing. And uh, Buddha said, you know, ignorance, ignorance rules in this world. And um, so they both said the same thing. There's a extreme problem with humanity is that it doesn't know what it's doing and it's totally ignorant um and it thinks uh, i think that humanity thinks it knows what it's doing but it doesn't and there are reasons for that uh, which hawkins describes Hors um, hawkins does muscle testing and has muscle tested a pathway from the lowest levels fear guilt and shame all the way up to the highest levels of enlightenment and he's uh, if you like tested it with muscle testing to find a clear path so that people don't make mistakes. Something which, um, through his research, means that a spiritual seeker which follows Hawkins' work will be 10,000 times more likely to reach enlightenment than not going through the work, which is calibrate, which has been tested with calibrations. Um, apart from Hawkins, who, who got to the level of the highest level, there's only three other teachers in history that got to the highest level of enlightenment, which of course are the avatars. I mean, not just teachers of enlightenment, the avatars. So that's Jesus Christ, Buddha, and Krishna. So, um, and uh, I choose, um, I'm choosing, I like to choose Hawkins for obvious, but a number of reasons, because he's a recent teacher. All his work, his words have not been changed since thousands of years of people trying to misinterpret them for whatever reason. So it's a, a, re, a, a recent avatar with his recordings and books intact without change yet. Uh, and, um, and he's also muscle tested things, which humanity, he can verify. So one of the things which I think is uh, very critical is that the Genesis in the Bible um, calibrates uh, at a high level of truth, very high level of truth. So even though it might be a metaphor, you could say from the non-dual realm or from the garden of heaven, um, or, or if I was to make a story, it's like, you know, God created and you can live a happy life in the garden of Eden, God's heaven, as long as you follow certain basic dictates, certain basic principles. Uh, to go outside of this, you'd no longer be under God's direct remit he'd be under something else uh lucifer also calibrates as true he's a fallen angel who decided to go against god and left god's realm so we're told in um i believe in genesis that the serpent tempted us to make a choice to leave the garden and um, and i think there's amnesia for that choice to leave the garden the non-dual or the heavenly realm and uh, to enter a realm, and it, it, funny enough, um, you know, if you if you listen to Hawkins, basically he's saying we have the we have the we have the uh, instincts of the evolution of animals, i.e., we have like a reptilian brain or a snake. So to leave the garden, we took on the karma of actually being that, which is the opposite of love, you know, to have the instincts of a snake or a dinosaur, and to evolve our way back up to earn the privilege, as we say, it's spiritual privilege to get back to the non-dual realm. It's not like given. 
Why? Because he, he, his mistake was it. it was my mistake. I chose to leave out of curiosity. I chose to leave the um, the simple infinite realm of love for the choice of duality, to have the choice of non-love, to be, be able to chew. I mean, a snake is not loving. And if that's my core instincts, you know, to be a snake or a killer, um, and to be a control freak, um, you know, I have to overcome that to earn my way back into. So it wasn't nothing to do with a God, God's punishing me. It's got to do with my own curiosity. I think curiosity and then the forgetting of the mistake I made. And then um, Hawkins talks about what's called Luciferic inversion. So if I say this realm is run by illusions, the, the best way to keep man in ignorance would be to luciferically invert everything in the world so that man would come back lifetime after lifetime in ignorance, thinking he's choosing the best and always ending up reincarnating or even going downstairs, shall we say, hopefully not. Um, so the, the, the software of the ego mind is not capable of making the right choice. Uh, the other thing to recognize is, I mean, Lucifer conversion is thinking that what's good is actually not good for me, and that what, uh, and then, um, uh, and then the things which are good for me, my ego labels or is luciferically in this realm, um, tends to in, tends to think is bad. Like God is the punisher, uh, God is bad. My ego is good. I'm the innocent victim. Uh, my fall from grace has got nothing to do with me. I'm uh, just, uh, it was not, you know. So that that kind of, um, and also in a world of ignorance, I forget that it was my decision out of curiosity. Uh, for me to, to choose that which is not God is to be able to choose non-love, which is Lucifer's domain. Uh, Lucifer is to seek power without love so that one can control at um at at uh, you know and and be a kind of a god in this domain uh that uh, you know is not the garden of eden so um this thing of ignorance and uh, luciferic inversions is for me which you know it's a world of illusions where illusions dominate where people think you know uh, like for example that um i didn't think spiritual work would be peace would be painful um, you know, uh, doing spiritual work is the easy way out, uh, because surely, I mean, you know, that's what it would be. But uh, that would be because, you know, for me, that, that I mean, that's an idea I thought as well. I hope I can do all this spiritual stuff because it's going to be way easy and I'll have a very easy way out because I'm, I'm suffering. And I, don't, I didn't realize that uh, there's a reason I'm suffering through um for me, it's through uh, a very bad error of choosing um, to leave the realm and um, and then choosing to, to experience something which is not absolute love. Um, and so, um, so in this, um, so uh, it's distracting to get so many chats. Thank you. Um, and um, so, um, yeah, so it's a realm where I'm, and, you know, through Hawkins' testing, he was very surprised with this. And I want to go over the consequence because I think it's really, really important. I mean, Hawkins is my teacher. I listen to him nonstop. I, rec I, I listen to the music because he calibrates everything. Um, and calibration is just, you know, to what extent it's aligned with the truth and not illusions. So like um, Packer Bell's Canon, Alleluia, Robert Gass, I want to listen to that and not gangster rap music, uh, which kind of, and you should say, well, oh, that sounds judgmental. You know, uh, it's not necessarily, it's just practical. If I listen, you know, and I'll go into that, why is it good to have a teacher of the highest level? Uh, why is it good to listen to music, have friends, and to avoid music, books, places, situations, and fallen teachers, um, and, to know, and to know the difference? And what are the consequences for not knowing the difference and choosing those things, uh, which I'll explain in this video. So this is the thing, um, and I think a very important aspect I wanted to talk today, which I haven't shared about, but I'll, I thought I'll share it because um, it's my own story and it's the darkness of the errors I made and how bad it can get. 
Mm. So they're attractive fields. Hawkins talks about it. It's like I vibrate at different levels of consciousness, depending on what level of consciousness I'm vibrating with. So if I vibrate with um, Hawkins, which is an avatar, and his books and his teachings, which are at the highest level, or if I could get you know, the teachings of Buddha and Jesus Christ as they said it at the time without being distorted at the highest level, um, then I'll be making my way out of here uh, this is actually purgatory. Uh, so, um, you know, I get the chance to choose, even though it's a world of illusion, so it's very hard to choose the truth to get out of here quickly, to get the, to, even though there are teachers of truth, but through Hawkins' research, most of the teachers, he was very surprised himself when he calibrated our fallen. And there's a reason for that. There's vicious temptation. This world of illusions is defended there are energies and things around which do not like teachers of truth staying around for very long before they pull them down. Um, I mean, it's not that, it's not that, you know, it's not really talked about that much, but it's in the literature. Uh, Jesus Christ talked of Lucifer and, um, and Buddha talked of being beset by demons, beset by demons, constant attack by demons. So they both said it and Hawkins gives great detail on this. That's why, um, but it was shocking to find that a lot of the teachers who still have thousands of followers, they've actually fallen. Um, now, the other thing, I mean, he said, like, uh, get go through all your book collection and throw out anything that calibrates negative. And he said this, and I think most people, it's, he doesn't stress it, but it's kind of obvious. If you're tuning into something which is, and I'll go into my own story now, the consequences of not knowing the truth and not having a teacher of truth and following my following all the illusory beliefs that I thought would make me happy was that I was an addict and um, I had food addiction, other addictions, sex addiction, uh, money addiction. And, um, and uh, the thing is, once you get into that field, you start to vibrate with that field. And I'll just share some of these things because you, if you if you unknowingly start vibrating with a, a low enough energy field, um, you can get what I'd call um, uh, you get attractive fields, which mean that you'll get messages, and also potentially even demonic possession. Uh, I share some stories from my own thing. I got to a place where I was suicidal with three addictions, acting out with these addictions, mor morally bankrupt. I remember being in Leicester Square. Um, and, you know, I, it was like, I, and now I realize, I didn't realize, I thought it was my own voice telling me to do things and behave in such a way, and I thought it was me. So I was in this restaurant binging on food, in a buffet restaurant, I was an overeater, and out of nowhere, I heard this thing, this voice say, well, why don't you go and see a sex worker? It was, it was not in my character. I mean, it's just not in my character to do such a thing. But as I was um, in that field of addiction, in in basically in Addiction Central, which is like a Leicester Square Soho, uh, for anyone who knows the area, um, and um, and there the voice came in, and it wasn't my voice. I was pretty clear that's not me. But um, you know, I still followed the. I was I, was, I had no defense. So I followed it. Uh, another illustration of the insanity that took me over was well, as I went into these low energy fields. Because as you become negatively, you go down and down and down. Is um, I had kidney failure, and uh, I remember the the doctor at the Royal Free said, "Look, you got to avoid these foods with high potassium. Uh, otherwise, you'll get a heart attack and die." And at the top of one of the top foods is uh, bananas. Uh, this is, I think, uh, almost a funny story. So as soon as they let me out of the, you know, it's like the voice told me, "As soon as you leave here, you have been going to eat as many bananas as you can." So um, as, as soon as they released me from the hospital, I, I went to a green market where you could, at the time, buy a huge, for one pound, you, you wouldn't believe it, how many, I don't know, probably 30, 40 bananas. Um, and I bought the bananas, uh, quite ripe, usually probably ready to, to go. And I, I stuffed them all in. And, you know, I think God was looking after me because I got a phone call because I had a blood test earlier the day, in the day from the hospital. And they said, come right in, you're about to have... Um, a heart attack is coming to A&E for emergency treatment. 
And I did have to have, you know, it was the biggest needle I ever saw in my life. That's another story. So, you know, we're talking about negative energies. So just not knowing the truth and just reading the wrong books, following the wrong illusory ideas, um, you know, it's like the field I'm, I'm vibrating with will um, will start to talk to me or possess me. So I want to vibrate with the field of miracles. So um, Hawkins recommends A Course in Miracles, his own teachings, the 12 steps. Um, I want to vibrate with those fields because that will actually bring angelic aid rather than having demons take try and take control of me. It's like the angels will be with me. You know, I believe the um, Course in Miracles has its own flock of angels which are looking after and trying to guide the Holy Spirit and um, and Jesus Christ. So, um, uh, so as I go there, I'll have like the avatars and the angels and heavenly aid whispering in my ear, trying to support me in the right direction. And uh, if I... Now, the thing with the fallen teachers is that actually... If you've got now, here's the thing I want also wanted to share: the the ignorance. If you look at the picture of a fallen teacher, and you put it on your wall, and you read the book of a fallen teacher, which has got all kinds of other messages, a teacher can be really great, and then the next day saying sex orgies is great. You know, um, sex is sex is holy. Let's break the limitations around morality. Uh, it's great, you know, and. Um, um, I'm, sure I'm breaking the limitations that a spiritual teacher can't have 97 Rolls Royces uh, as well to travel in luxury. And this is all this is all what God's will is for us. So tuning into a fallen teacher, um, and I believe I've had the experience as well of having a teacher that was very good for, um, and this can be checked with muscle testing if you're unclear, but you don't need to have muscle testing. Hawkins is... You just need to test Hawkins and then he's tested everything you need to know. So you don't really need any, you don't really need to spend tons of money on muscle testers. But um, so, okay, here's the thing. If you've got books full of uh, in your, in your house that all calibrate negative, when you look at them, your energy goes negative and you start vibrating with that energy. If you've got teachers all over your, all over your room, which now calibrate negative as you look at them. Let's say Adolf Hitler was, he was actually positive in his early days. Uh, he was very charismatic. So if you've got the picture of Adolf, you know, and you think, oh, that's great. I know he's a good guy. And then you've got pictures of Adolf. He's now calibrating, you know, at the level of the demonic uh, all over your room. And you just go, you're looking at him. You, th you don't think anything is going wrong. It's just got pictures of Adolf all over the thing. Or a fallen teacher, but your your energy system is blown out, and you're tuning into those energies all day long. Or if you're reading the book, you're tuning into the energies which now run that run that teacher. So, uh, or if you're listening to TV programs, you're not sure why you go into addiction and negative energy and depression. You're not sure why you have bad luck. You know your car breaks down every day, then this goes wrong. And you weren't aware that you were looking at photos, reading books, or listening to a teacher is now gone. So, um, so the alignment for miracles is to rec the recognition of ignorance. The the world is is actually very ignorant, and is often the ego is often choosing. And even uh, spiritual students, which think they're quite well, they are quite aware, but still, you know, and if they don't have muscle testing, they're still potentially very ignorant. Um, so, so what's the, what's the, uh, I'll, I'll wrap it up now, the summary points. Summary points, I mean, my points are, for me, it's obvious. I know Hawkins, um, through my own experience and through verification through muscle testers, that Hawkins is the real deal at the highest level, an avatar along the lines of Jesus Christ, Buddha and Krishna. Um, I want to vibrate with his energy. I don't want to waste time. I just definitely don't want to go with a fallen teacher or have uh, images and books, or listen to audios. Uh, I don't want their spiritual responsibility of recommending negative books and teachers who are not mus verified with muscle testing to other people, and having the karma of leading people astray down the wrong direction. So hence, I uh, 
I recommend David Hawkins. I stand by that before God, um, but I don't. I don't recommend any other teachers that are living right now. Um, and um, uh, but I do recommend, yeah, you know, my, you know, if not um, David Hawkins, Jesus Christ, Buddha, or Krishna are authentic teachers. And if you, and if I, I want to get it, this is purgatory, so I want to get my seat in heaven and get out of here as quickly as possible. So I'm going to just align with Hawkins and all he says, because uh, I know it's verified and I'll I'll not make mistake to make a mistake for me. I made mistakes. I went to the, I went to hell. So I don't recommend that place or being demonically influenced or possessed as well. Okay, I'll leave it here with that video. Uh, press stop.